Today we're talking about the different types of 3D printing filament. We're going to cross compare PLA versus PETG versus ASA. Choosing the right filament for your 3D printing projects can significantly impact the quality, durability, and functionality of your prints. Three popular filament options are PLA, PETG, and ASA. Each filament has unique characteristics and applications, making them suitable for different purposes. And today we're going to talk about the differences between PLA versus PETG versus ASA filament to help you make a better decision on what you should be using. Let's first talk about PLA. It's a biodegradable thermoplastic derived from renewable resources like cornstarch and sugarcane. It's known for its ease of use, low printing temperatures, and minimal warping. PLA is also available in a wide variety of colors and specialty options, such as popular types like silk, fake wood, fluorescent, and of course that glow-in-the-dark filament. And then there's PETG. It combines the ease of printing of PLA with some of the durability and flexibility of ABS. It is tougher, more impact resistant, and can withstand higher temperatures. PETG is also chemically and UV resistant, making it suitable for outdoor applications. ASA is a thermoplastic similar to ABS, but with enhanced UV resistance and weatherability. It is known for its toughness, impact resistance, and ability to withstand higher temperatures. ASA requires higher printing temperatures and an enclosure to prevent warping similar to ABS. Next, let's talk about the ease of printing these different types of filaments. PLA is generally the easiest to print with, requiring lower temperatures between 190 to 220 Celsius, and it has less stringent printing conditions. It adheres well to the print bed and has minimal warping, making it suitable for beginners. It's the type of thing where you can just throw about any setting at it, and it does super good. PETG can be more challenging to print with due to its stickiness and tendency to string and ooze. It requires higher temperatures around 230 to 250 Celsius and careful tuning to avoid issues like nozzle accumulation and poor overhang performance. Despite these challenges, PETG provides excellent layer adhesion and fewer print failures when properly tuned. ASA is more challenging to print with due to its higher temperature requirements around 240 to 260 Celsius and a tendency to warp. An enclosure is often needed to maintain a stable environment and reduce warping. ASA emits fewer nauseous fumes compared to ABS, but still requires good ventilation. Then another huge difference between all of these filaments is the temperature resistance. PLA has a lower glass transition temperature, typically between 50 to 60 Celsius, which means it can soften and deform at relatively low temperatures. PETG has a higher glass transition temperature, around 70 to 80 Celsius, allowing it to withstand higher temperatures better than PLA. This makes PETG more suitable for parts that need to endure warmer environments. ASA has a high glass transition temperature, around 105 Celsius, making it the most suitable for parts exposed to high temperatures. Its UV resistance also makes it ideal for outdoor applications. And as far as mechanical properties between PLA versus PETG versus ASA, they vary significantly. PLA is hard and has a high degree of stiffness, making it ideal for parts requiring precision. However, it is more brittle and less impact resistant. PETG is tougher and more flexible than PLA, providing better impact resistance. It is ideal for parts that need to flex or absorb shock, such as clips or outdoor items. ASA is the toughest and most impact resistant of the three, making it suitable for functional parts that need to endure mechanical stress or impact. It is also more ductile, allowing it to flex rather than crack under pressure. So you might be asking yourself, what types of things would you be printing on the different filaments? PLA is ideal for prototypes, decorative items, and parts that require high precision and a good surface finish. PETG is best for functional parts that need to withstand mechanical stress, impact, or higher temperatures. It is suitable for automotive parts, outdoor applications, and parts that require flexibility and durability. ASA is suitable for functional parts that need high durability, wear resistant, and higher temperature tolerance. It's commonly used on car parts, outdoor stuff, and mechanical parts that require UV resistance and the ability to withstand weather. So to sum all of this up, PLA versus PETG versus ASA, they each have unique advantages and are suited for different applications. PLA is the easiest to print with, it offers a wide range of colors and specialty options, and is ideal for indoor and low-stress parts. 
Pet-G provides superior toughness, impact resistance, and higher temperature tolerant, making it suitable for functional and high stress applications. ASA offers the highest durability, impact resistance, and UV resistance, making it ideal for mechanical parts and outdoor applications. Hopefully this helped break down the differences between these 3D printing filaments. PLA versus PETG versus ASA are commonly referenced as ABS. They're very similar. Hit me up in the comments if you guys have any further questions. I'm a normal dude and will reply. And please consider subscribing. Let's take it off the plate here. All right. Man, this thing's cool, right guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it out. This thing is beastly. All right, which sword do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle. <laughs> oh no, it broke. We'll put it back together. How did that break? You win.